All right, guys, what's up? Steve from Out to the Wilds and Smithers Custom Baits here. Um, I'm coming back to show you guys how I finish out a bait. Uh, here I have a bait that I painted, which you guys probably just seen the video, or hopefully you seen the video. Um, it's a pumpkin scene pattern. I am going to show you guys how I clear coat and the process behind finishing the bait. Um, so first of all, you're going to need some eyes. I have a little workstation over here. I have all different size eyes in here for different size baits. A ton of eyes. Uh, for this specific bait, uh, it takes 5 millimeter eyes. I also have 6 millimeter, six millimeter uh, 4, I have a whole bunch of different kinds and colors. Uh, so for this bait, I'm probably going to use silver. Um, the picture shows it has a pretty dark eye, but I don't think that's the actual eye. Um, I could use a goldish. Um, doesn't look bad, but I think I'm just going to go with the silver for now. Um, I think that's sufficient. So, I take my exacto knife, get the get the eye off the sheet that it came on. Put the eye where it's supposed to go. Center in it without scratching the eye or poking it. Just kind of press it down. Get the other eye. Put it on the other side. Centering it, putting it where it's supposed to go. Put the protective back over the eyes. Put your eyes away. Blah, blah, blah. So now I grab a Q-tip and I lightly press down on the eyes to get the adhesive back to seal to the eye cavity. Uh, you want to use a Q-tip so you can apply pressure without uh, messing up your paint job. Unless you guys have a different way. That's how I do it. There, there's the eyes. Um, next, at this time, what I would be doing is I'd be taking my marker and signing it. But I already signed this one. I signed all my baits. Um, it's just what I do. I don't know. Call me corny or whatever. Uh, it's what I do. Um, so at this point, I'm ready to clear coat it. Um, so what you're going to need for that is disposable brushes. Uh, most likely you're only going to need one per bait. I always take out two just to have it handy. Um, you're going to need plastic cups and or whatever you're going to mix your epoxy in. I have plastic cups. Uh, I have used other things. I still do use other, other things. You're going to need a stir stick. What I do is I just simply take a Q-tip, cut off one side so I can use the other side to uh, stir it with. Now these Q-tips are nice Q-tips. Uh, they're stiff. It doesn't bend. These ones are cheap plastic ones that bend. So I use these for mixing paint. Uh, it's hollow on the inside so you, uh, I can use these for mixing paint. This one is not hollow. It's uh, Pretty stiff, so I use this to mix my epoxy. Then you're going to need your epoxy. Um, I use Devcon two ton uh, epoxy, which I'm pretty sure 90% of lure makers use this. Um, there's other ways uh, you can do this. You can use uh, moisture cure uh, urethane or polyurethane, whatever it is. Uh, I don't use that because I do my work inside and you have to have a drying wheel for that and you know the fumes and all that stuff yeah. I, I just I just use the DevCon it's just so much easier um, you can get it so um, you can get stuff that comes in uh, syringes I've used that as well obviously you see um, but this is probably the best stuff uh, this you can get off Amazon I ordered this it's uh, it says 4.5 ounces on that, but here it says 4.25, I just noticed. 
whatever. Uh, so this cost fifteen dollars for these two bottles, and this, this will last a, lot, a while. As you'll see here, you, you don't need much, especially to do small baits. So this is a one to one part uh, epoxy. You, you use the same amount of each per side, so. I just eye it out. Works pretty well. Looks good to me. This stuff isn't it's not that hard. I mean it's it's I'm not gonna say it's pretty forgiven, but I have yet to make a mistake on the mixing, you know, you just eye it out and mix it together. Now this stuff will turn uh, a milky whitish, and then it'll go back clear. Once it does that, you you know that it's mixed up well enough. And after it does that, just you know, spend another 10-15 seconds to uh, mixing it up. Don't be shy. Make sure it's mixed up pretty well. Now this Defcon 2 ton is a 30-minute working time, 30-minute set time. Now that's not actual, you know, <laughs> it says that, but you probably got about, I don't know, I would say probably five to seven minutes to work with it, get it on your bait, get everything uh, how you want it to get it. You definitely don't have 30 minutes, you definitely don't have 15 minutes, I can tell you that much. Anyway. So on this bait, I'm going to start on the bottom. I'll tell you why as soon as I get to the other spots. And all you do is just brush it on. Go along your, uh, your paint line. I know some people that do the bill. Me personally, I don't. You want to that's your thing go ahead but me I don't now I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I'm still still new at all this so I can be honest with you without you guys judging me I just got this uh, epoxy I was buying the DevCon that came in the syringe. It was called a DevCon 5 Minute Epoxy. And I was using that for the longest time, not knowing that there's a difference between that and this uh, 2 ton epoxy. And there is, boy. That 5 Minute Epoxy, you, you got about 2 to 3 minutes to work with it, ain't get it on your bait and I can't tell you how many baits I messed up because I didn't have enough time to cover up the whole bait with, with the epoxy so you know I got mad and I started uh, saying what am I doing wrong why are my baits not coming out like everybody else's did a little research uh, seen in people's videos what they were using I mean obviously they tell you what what you're using but I was confused I thought I was using the same stuff but nope there is a difference between the five minute epoxy and the two ton uh, 30 minute epoxy if you don't know that now you do okay and the reason that I started off on the bottom here instead of the top half is because this top half is going to get some glitter so I wanted to put all the epoxy on where I don't use the glitter first. I'm not even on camera, am I? Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing around the eyes and the nose right now because that's not going to get much glitter into it. Basically, when 
whatever bait you're doing takes glitter you want to do everything first that doesn't have glitter in it and get your glitter I bought this from Walmart uh, extra fine glitter this is silver I have a couple different colors that I use you know sprinkle some glitter into your epoxy cup um, it's always good to have these helping hands around so that I can hold that while I mix this up I'll just mix that glitter into your epoxy don't overdo it uh, a little bit of glitter goes a long way you'll learn <laughs> I sure did Finish spreading the epoxy now. I also have on this bait, on the outer coat, I have a. Uh, and that's a lot. I have a pearlized paint, so that's giving it some extra shine as well. glitter and we're good to go this looks fabulous I, I always put put some glitter off to the side too that's actually not in the epoxy if I want to put that in a you know if one spot didn't get enough glitter if I want to put glitter into a certain spot you know, I don't always all keep it into the epoxy This bait's coming out pretty well. What I'm doing now is I'm just going back through and making long strokes to even out the epoxy. Make sure I got everything covered up. Make sure that you have bright lights in your work area too. Um, it'll help you out with the, making sure that you got every part of the bait covered in epoxy. Bright lights are very important. Me personally, I don't like glitter on the eyes, so if you happen to get some on the eyes, just play with it until you get it off. Um, that's pretty well. So now I wipe the glitter off from the brush so I can, and, and or just grab another brush, <laughs> whichever suits you, in case, you know, I have to go, go through and just make sure. Once again, I have all the spots covered. Which I do. So this bait came out pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with this. Disposable brushes, disposable cup, nice and clean, just throw it right away. And that's that, folks. That is done. I'll hang this up overnight, let it dry overnight. I have a little hanging station right above my working station. Boom. Hang it up, let it dry overnight, um, and that's good to go. What I did want to show you guys was those disposable brushes. Uh, this is what they come in. There's 30 of them, I believe. Yeah, 30 pack for 97 cents from uh, Walmart. You need these to put on your epoxy. If you're not using these, you're spending too much money, and you don't need to. Go buy these. I my my Walmart carries about six at a time. 
I grab all six, so I'm sure people are starting to get mad at me. <laughs> I grab all six every time I go up, uh, stock up on them. Um, you can see I got I got extras up there. Anyway, that's how I finish uh, the bait after uh, doing the paint job. You get your eyes, you sign it if you're signing it. Uh, put your eyes on epoxy clear coat, uh, hang it up to dry. Now, I won't touch that until... Uh, tomorrow morning ish when I wake up you know so that gives it many many hours to dry um, anyway if you have any questions like any other time feel free to drop them in the comment section I will get to them I promise you uh, I have a lot of free time it's winter so um, not fishing so if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, I'll help you guys out as best as I can um, by no means per a professional at this. I'm learning just like anybody else that's watching this is learning. Um, like, subscribe, share the heck out of this. Let's uh, let's make something out of this channel, or at least hopefully you know help other people. That's my uh, that's why I do these videos. You know I don't have to do these videos. I can just watch other people's videos and learn myself and keep everything myself. But I like helping people. Just as much as I needed the help, so uh, tell your friends about it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and let's get more people uh, painting lures and you know more people fishing. Until next time, guys. Take care.